Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to Kerbal Complete and Kerbal Space Program. In today's episode, we're starting where we left off in our last episode from our base on Tecto, the Titan analog of Sarnus in the Outer Planets mod. Um, so yeah, we've got our base on the ground there, and this is our colony ship that just remained in orbit. But before we return to the base, I want to do a quick mission over to the giant moon Slate in the Sarnus system, which is kind of almost like Tylo, but it's like a bit more deserty. It's like a super massive moon that you can use to gravity assist into the Sarnus system. And yeah, it'll be a fun challenge to land on uh, due to its high gravity. It's also got some really huge, massive mountain ranges that are visible from space, which is pretty cool. Right now I'm just setting a maneuver to match the inclination to the moon. It's pretty massive, so we almost got a pretty good trajectory just right off the bat, as you can see. Um, but I'm gonna tweak it so that I can have a more optimal flyby like so. And then once we have that trajectory lined up, we'll just be uh, drifting on our way to a low slate orbit. So we've got our encounter. I think I'm gonna aim for an altitude of like 30,000 or 40,000 feet, just setting up a retrograde circularizing burn and warping ahead till we've entered the sphere of influence. So here we are, just on the night side of the moon. So I think the lore behind this moon was that it once had an atmosphere and a giant ocean, but for some unknown reason, it all got stripped away, leaving kind of like this barren rock of a moon. It's got really huge mountains though, you can see just how big they are right below us. Cool, now it's time to get ready for our landing. We have just this one man lander here um, with a couple of radial tanks that I just have to make sure I have the right fuel flow because we're gonna be staging them out. Uh, it's kind of a large moon, so it takes more Delta V than usual to land. So this is a two, actually I think it's a three stage lander actually. I want to get some really cool views from the mountains, so we're going to try to land on a relatively flat spot on this mountain range here next to one of the biggest craters on the moon. Um, I'm kind of aiming for this little plateau here. We'll see if I can do it without crashing. This looks like a good spot actually. I'm gonna aim for like under four meters per second on touchdown. That's probably a good speed. Get it as low as I can. And looks like we've landed safe and sound. Cool. Um, just, oh wait, I realized I have to stage these tanks first. Cool. And now we've got the ladder down. Uh, we'll just adjust these landing legs and take our first steps on the surface plant a flag of course as per the usual arrangement and then after that I want to go walk around on these uh, mountaintops do some mountain climbing kind of like the subject of this video actually is all about mountains in space we're gonna be exploring some of the really cool mountains on Tecto's South Pole a little bit later after we have finished with slate but yeah right now I'm gonna go walk over climb some of these mountain peaks and see what it looks like from there Looks like the moon is tidally locked to Sarnus, so we'll never have a proper 
Sarnus sunset, not a sunset, but like a Sarnus set. The, the planet will always kind of be in the same place in the sky. But now that we've got our uh, sightseeing done, we've returned back to the lander and we're going to start getting ready to make our ascent back into orbit to rendezvous with the colony ship and head back to Tecto for another mission real quick. So I've just set the colony ship as my target and lifted off the surface. This uh, middle stage will run out of fuel really soon and then we'll take our little top stage the rest of the way into orbit. All right, now we have to stage and light up our tiny little spark engine here. Have to pitch up a little bit to kick our altitude a bit higher so we can clear this mountain range on the other side of the crater. It looks like our APWAPS is approaching the altitude of our colony ship, so we can just coast on up to the peak of our orbit and then do another lateral burn to circularize. Just got that set up here. These are some pretty cool mountain ranges. Well, we just got our rendezvous set up and there's the colony ship just below us. We have to slow down and match our speed. I'll drift on over to the mothership and we'll just go on a quick space walk back into the airlock and uh, we'll be on our way back to Tecto. Cool, we got our Kerbal back inside. Now it's time to start planning our escape trajectory back to Tecto, which orbits a little bit further out than Slate. It's that kind of like tealish green colored orbit. Looks like we've got a pretty good transfer window set up already. All we have to do is just basically boost out of Slate's orbit and we will rendezvous with Tecto on the other side of the planet. matching our inclination real quick. And there we've got a pretty cool encounter. So there's our flyby trajectory. We'll just uh, warp until we've entered the sphere of influence. And there's Tecto through one of the windows of my spacecraft. So we have to do a capture burn and we'll circularize down at our periapsis. We're back in orbit above Tecto and our Tecto base down on the surface, which uh, we established in our last episode. Here's Tecto base with our two airplanes. Um, looks like it's raining near the base site right now. This is uh, the view from inside the hydroponics module. Pretty cool. Um, I really like uh, the rain effects that Parallax adds. Pretty cool. Um, you can see some of these stalactites on the surface are pretty cool as well. Got to climb down the ladder here and exit the base and walk on over to one of our aircraft. Or I guess, I don't know, there's, there's not any oxygen on the surface or in the atmosphere. I think uh, Tecto's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen and methane, um, but yeah, just hopped on over onto the wing. The gravity here is pretty low, so it makes uh, flying really like a breeze, essentially, and uh, the atmospheric density, like the, the air pressure, is higher than on Kerbin, so you can get more lift, um, which is also helpful. So I've just throttled up and made sure that my little nuclear reactor on the bottom of this airplane is running. That's going to power my rotors. And where we're going today is the South Pole. 
there's some really interesting uh, mountain ranges near the South Pole that I want to check out. So we're just kind of pointing due south and we're going to be coasting on up above the clouds. I think it'll be like a 30 to 45 minute flight at this speed, but I'll, you know, of course, cut ahead for you guys. We'll check out the views from up high on our way down. So we're getting close to the South Pole and above the clouds we can start to see Sarnus and some of its moons in the sky. Since we're near one of the poles, it'll appear fairly low in the horizon, which is really cool. We can make out, I think, Slate and Elu from our position right now. And here is the South Pole mountain rifts. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'll just let you guys watch as I fly around and have some fun flying through them. If you read the science readouts, it says that there must have been extreme tidal forces that, uh, or extreme t tectonic forces that created these rifts near the South Pole, which is crazy. But uh, I think in reality, what created these is um, kind of like just a side effect of how KSP draws height maps based on like the surface textures when you're creating a planet. That's why there's always something cool ish going on near the poles of a lot of these uh, planets and, and moons in Kerbal Space Program. Like the Moho is a really good example, which I think is at the North Pole of Moho or near, near around there. There's some interesting stuff from the North Pole too, but the South Pole of Tecto is by far the coolest. We're going to come in for a quick landing near one of the shores, uh, just uh, just north, I guess, I guess almost anywhere is north of the South Pole. I don't know. Well, there's this little shore nearby, and it's pretty flat, so we're going to make a nice quick landing, and we'll watch some of the sunsets from the North Pole. We're getting some really cool, uh, like, sunset effects, very, like, bright pink. Plant a flag, of course, and see if we can spot Sarnus through these clouds. Okay, now that we've had our break, it's time to start the flight back to our base, all the way back near the equator. So I'll just get ready to take off here. But yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more KSP YouTube videos on the Outer Planets mod and the Minor Planets expansion pack. And uh, these spacecraft files are available on my Patreon if you want to try them out for yourself. But yeah, that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.